and welcome to Stargazing, the show that brings you up close and personal with your favorite stars of reggae and dancehall music, Jamaican popular culture and people who've impacted society in a very big way. I'm Sean Kane. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and share the videos and leave a comment. In this edition of the show, we'll speak with artist, producer and Bedwardite, Ras Ash the First. Let's take a look. Ras Ash the First is an artist, music producer, community champion and Bedwardite. He lives in Augustown, St. Andrew, which is arguably the first free town following the abolition of slavery on the island. Some people dub the area the town that Bedward built. Ras Ash the First fully embraces the teachings and philosophy of the late freedom fighter, visionary, spiritual leader and teacher Alexander Bedward. Bedward, a revivalist who was born in Jamaica in 1848, has had a profound impact on several generations through his preachings and teachings of self-reliance. It has been widely documented that his public addresses have influenced the pathways pursued by national heroes Marcus Garvey and Norman Manley, founder of the People's National Party and Jamaica's most successful reggae musician Bob Marley, among others. Ras Ash I continues to be an unwavering Bedwardite who believes that the teachings of the famed leader who died in 1930 are still relevant today. He plans to set up a library in Augustown to showcase the artifacts of Bedwardism. The dreadlocked reggae entertainer's music is anchored in love, peace and respect for humanity. One of Ras Ash's biggest musical engagements since 2019 is the One Augustown project. The singer told the Stargazing with Sean Kane show that the project, which is a collection of motivational recordings, was inspired by the need to promote peace and unity in Augustown. Sustained gang warfare has had a strangled hold on the leading post-slavery Freetown. The violence is responsible for taking several lives, including that of Cavon Kids Friday Jackson, the son of singer Kevin Sanchez Jackson. Ras Ash I has expressed despair at the unabated trend in the violence. He has vowed to keep on working to promote the teachings of Alexander Bedward. The Thank You singer feels that Bedwardism is a conduit that can safely channel unity and love to the present and future generations of Augustown and the neighboring communities. Among Ras Ash the First's repertoire are Augustown, Silence, Put Down the Gun, I Know, Reggae We Are Reggae, and Only You, Ja, among others. Welcome back. Ras Ash, the first. What's good, man? Uh, my respect, Uncle. I'm here. I'm yeah, here. nice, man. Nice. I like your background, man. I see, boy, you got lots of things on display, man. Yes, guy. You don't know. Better guys are real business people. Right. And uh, we always are our own businesses. So give thanks again. Yeah, man, you're keeping the entrepreneurship going. But Ras Ash, you know, you've recorded lots of inspirational tracks, lots of songs that really touch people's hearts. But you have not been traveling off the island to perform them overseas. Is that a conscious decision that you've made or it's just that the, uh, the opportunities haven't come? Okay. It's about opportunities and conscious of opportunities. Right, because it's not many messages are fully acceptable according. Okay, so I want to travel, I will travel, but I don't sing music out of the way to travel. I understand where you're coming from, but you know what? Your music has always traveled along the path of righteousness, even though most of our artists nowadays have abandoned that pathway. But you have not even swerved, not as much as that. What has kept you so steadfast on this path of righteousness? Okay. Being a bit what I'd you know, it have certain principles, values, and morals. And through rough times, you teach of a keep yourself. Mm -hmm. In blessed time, you teach you to share yourself. 
So, me never yet forget who is Bedward and what Bedward stand for. Unification, peace, a better way, a better standard of life for humanity. So, me never try to sing a song yet to destroy my people, a people which Bedward build. So, I don't sing for money. <laughs> yeah, me no, me, no, me no sing for the money, me no sing for the popularity, me no sing for the fan base. I'm just a messenger. Right. So when you have a message to deliver, that's when you'll sing. Right. I'm just a messenger. That. You've made a lot of references to Bedward and Bedwardite. We're going to talk about that in just a moment, but we're going to kind of concentrate on your musical side first and the kind of influences around you and around, you know, where you are now. Now, a lot of artists seem to not to have an appetite for righteousness these days. I mean, why do you think that's the case? Why have they moved so much away from righteousness? Okay. History, history can speak, you know. History can speak because each and every great person who come forward with a great message, history show you how history destroy them. So many youths are fearless to speak the truth because they think that the system will punish them for speaking the truth. Punish them in a way that's no work, no show, no money. So that's why I am a better guy. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. I don't sing for money. I do farming. I do agriculture. I self-rely. I can do crafts. I can do fishing. So. My way cannot change. Bedward keep me to that. Mm -hmm. Bedward him keep me to that. Because we are the manifestation of the true black people, the true black kingdom. Interesting so, one there, man. But then that lack of righteousness, no, it has led to a lot of violence and some of which is being played out right now in August Town. What's really going on? Tell me a little bit about what's happening in August Town now. Okay. Tribalism ever exists, you know. Mm -hmm. And there's no community without a struggle. So, many you would inherit a past and them carry on the past, which many don't understand. So, more you get involved in a netherman past over and over and over until a next man past becomes their cause. So, it's not as if that the U.M. just war if I are, war boat are, there's a cause for it. Mm. So in terms and, of what's happening in, in August Town right now, what's the cause? Who's, right, and, yeah, whose war are they fighting? Mm -hmm. All right, this is the cause. You see, tribalism is terrible, you know. Mm -hmm. And you know that tribalism is like an internal politics. Mm -hmm. And within tribalism, you have a thing with the power struggle. So that is it. Every man wants to be the bigger man. Mm -hmm. He wants to be the ruler of the power struggle. So eventually, many of you grow with the stigma as if being a Dan or being a monster in a community, it makes you be strong amongst them. So watch it now. We have to try to re-educate the U.M., take them back away from that sense of moral. Many are already caught up in it, so the most we can do is try to re-educate them from that sense of moral. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. But as, as you mentioned about the re-education, I would imagine that the campaign that you started to restore love, unity and peace in Augustown and its environs is part of what you're saying. Now, I know that a major effort is the One Augustown project, which is a musical project, which is geared towards, as we said at the start, restoring peace. And you are kind of the mastermind behind that. So tell me a little bit more about the One Augustown project. What's the purpose of that and how does it seek to fulfill its purpose? Okay. Unity is strength. Mm -hmm. And if we all could just have one mind, one thinking, one love, one forgiveness, one pity towards everyone's circumstances, we can we can change. Mm -hmm. We can change. So one Augustone is about uniting each and every community which make up the Augustone system. Because presently we have five communities in Augustone. Mm -hmm. I know Hermitage is one of them. Right. Hermitage, Angola, Vietnam, Goldsmith Villa, and Augustone Road itself. So, one Augustone is striving to unite all these communities because they are really divided, you know. They are really and truly divided. So is that because there's somebody who wants to be the Don in the area? Is that how the division comes about? Right. It's all about political and tribal struggle. Oh. Violence no go without politics in Jamaica. For instance, if the two parties in Jamaica should unite and be one, you know how great it would be? Mm. Getting across the message it's quite simple, you know, mm -hmm. because who have eyes to see, let them see, and who have ears to ears, let them hear, because we're in a time now where youths are not as not intelligent as in 20, 30 years ago. They are much more intelligent, they're much more understanding, they're much more know what you say. So how come we got so many problems then, in terms of the social sphere that we're in? Why is it so miserable if the youth okay. have better understanding us of human relations, understanding of our history and our politics? Well, I presume that those are elements that you are referring to as well when you say they've got a greater level of understanding. Now, why is it that we've got so much turmoil around us? This is it now. It's like you give someone something, but they don't know if you use it yet. Right. So, the you M so? Happy and ignorant, or them find a way to live. So, them find it easy. Because a 16 year old have a big man, a big house already. Mm. He not have no education, he not have no bachelor degree, he not have no subject. And life experience. And he not have no life experience. But then again, we cannot say he not have life experience because he have a bima and he have a house and he have a fat bank book is what he is experiencing in life. Mm. So the thing is this now is not to fight against the man's experiences. It's to help them for more them experience in a better way. Mm. Because there's a picture which is painted bad, but that picture can become beautiful if you put the right color on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so I say every youth. Right. So is that kind of message or theme apparent in the one Augustine project? All the different songs that are on that album? Yes. Right. Yes, because right. I, I directed that album with the spirit of Bedwadas. Every youth think to sing to Bill and restore. 
Mm. Well, you're tuned to the Stargazing with Sean Kane show, and we're speaking with our special guest, Ras Ash the First. He's an artist, music producer, and Bedwardite. We'll be back after this quick break. Yeah, to the world, this is Tal Majila, you know, bigging up Sean Kane. The man who promote music and culture of Jamaica like a hurricane has storm the world. Yeah. So tell me you love saying that's the thing. Big up Sean Kean and, and the stargazing. See? Hi everyone, this is Sean Reese. And I'm representing for the Stargazing Show with your boy Sean Kane. Featuring artists from around the world. See? So hit that subscribe button and notification bell. See? I will never break my virgin stone. I know you Lord and I will stand my ground You are the King of Kings and Lord of Lords So the fire keeps blazing well red Start getting short I never get no help on my struggling Yo this is Relevant Boss and I'm here to represent the Stargazing Show featuring Sean Kim. This show brings you up close and personal with your favorite dancehall and reggae artists. What I love about this show, it gives young artists an opportunity to share their story and to talk about the obstacles that they've been through to get them to where they are today. Don't forget to subscribe to the Stargazing Show on YouTube. Big up yourself, Sean. Out. Who oh, fighting for? August on who fighting for? You wanna make enough money and drive big cars cause the whole we are rising star. Yo, this is Dejan and you're watching Stargazing with Sean Kane, you know, up close and personal. Welcome back. You're tuned to the Stargazing with Sean Kane show. We're speaking with our special guest, Ras Ash the First. He's an artist, music producer, and Bedwardite. We've spent quite a bit of time talking about his music and also uh, hinting at the fact that we're going to be talking a little bit about the Bedwardite teaching. So, so you, seem to, you seem to have a lot of influence in the area, man, because only recently we um, interviewed Dejon and he's one of the artists on the One August Town project. He's just 12 years old. How did you manage to convince him that, listen, this is the way to go. Become a part of this. Add your voice to this so we can get a message across. How will you okay. get him involved? Um, it, it's simply, you know that I never, me never close my door for potential. And that is what my community needs. Young potential to be mold into role models that their younger peers can move on a better way. So, I saw him on the Instagram and I kind of like his spirit and what he was saying. I'm going to just reach out to him and reach out to your mother. I make it possible. It's a very good song, man. What are we fighting for? We all want a good life. We all want to drive a nice car. We all want money. So what are we fighting for? It's just one community. That was his message at 12 years old. Right, because him see a lot, you know. <laughs> so young, but so much. Mm. When you say him see a lot, what do you mean by that? Because growing up in this type of community is like everything open because I them stop go school because. Up this to get shot up or him him dead this or this to get rob or so every day the children them I experience a negative side of the community. But Ras, let me ask you this: When the youths come to you, do they come to you with the kind of mentality that you're talking about now, or they come with something totally different, one that might be more um, akin to promoting war, extending the war? I mean, tell me a little bit about the mentality, because I just want to know if they're just conscious and aware when they come to you, or you have to have reasonings with them, and then that's when they kind of see a different perspective. Okay, these youth, you know, there are many different shades. Many different shades. So some come with good intent, some come with bad intent. But me like when they come with bad intent. Me like that. <laughs> because me, me, me know overturn that bad intent in you know, something positive. Mm -hmm. 
Do have, you, you. Have, you, have you succeeded at that very often? Of course. Of course. I've succeeded in that many a times. But, many right, a time. but when you say they come with bad intent, how do you know that? How do you sum that up? What do you see? What evidence? And you think, yeah, you're up to no good. We are energy people and vibration people. Mm -hmm. And your eyes tell a lot, your lips tell a lot, and the words are your mouth tell a lot. <laughs> so, me vet everything will come among me. Even myself, my vet. Because there's an energy which is coming. It's just me for find it. Is that, easy to, is that easy to do? For me, it's very easy. For what me, it's you, very easy. What you feel and what you, what you, what you discern all this? What you feel? All right. You see, I have a song on the rhythm and name. Don't blame the music. All right. When do you come in up? <laughs> I'm even tell you, when the, when them the youth come to do the music, idiot. You want to hear the good man song when they come with you, know, Papa? So who you, take with a, who you manage to take with the gun, the ammunition, and all them things from, and the bulletproof vest? Who you manage to take with them and show them the one can and say, yeah, my brother, see the thing, see the good book, see the this. I mean, how do you manage to do that? Was it difficult? Let yeah. me tell you how I get Kwanzaa. When Kwanzaa come to me, yeah, him, him sing, his music are very... He's very melodious, but he's very evil in his content. I'm going to say, no. So, I went into the studio box. And I sang a verse. Yeah, and I told him that follow that spirit. Oh, you're setting the tone for him. Right. So, he must say to me, say, Rasa, she knows it. I the song when I come to sing more, I sing and I say, no, not today, not today. And I swear to you, every day Kwanzaa call me and him tell me, say, this is the best song, him sing. So when, I, you to, when you said to him, Russ, that not today, how did he take that? Did he just say, all right, I'll get what you're saying, or no, no, this, this is what I'm doing, did he insist on it? Him take it like the ordinary child, man, ordinary mm. child, screw, screw and vex. Okay, right. But, right. but we, we, we as person, as, as guardian, because it's not a parent, it's a guardian, you know. Anyone can be a guardian from them, I put you upon that right part of life. And through me, no, say, you go to Tivoli, Tivoli comprehensive, right? because there's a lot of school children and really. Through me, then go to Tivoli, I understand, say, wow. These are what he's seen, but I'm going to teach him something else. Him see, but him never see. And if you listen to the song when you don't blame the music, you're going to say, wow. None of those, none of those in don't blame the music never come to sing a, a culture song. None of them. None of them. None of them. And as a matter of fact, 70% of them were vice. None of them never come to do a culture song. None. No. So, so Raz, why do you why do you think the culture music has escaped them so badly? All right, that everybody will come, they won't kill people. Why? This is is a food we are sharing, you know? <laughs> right? Because sometimes you want idle food and the shop now have none. Mm. You see it, and. Them say it's just little bit of people eat idols, so them just sell chicken and everything else. Well, you're tuned to the Stargazing with Sean Kane show, and we're speaking with our special guest, Ras Ash the First. He's an artist, music producer, and Bedwardite. We'll be back after this quick break. Yo, this is Dejan, and don't know say I watch Stargazing with Sean Kane up close and personal. Civ Art Box and Mother are present for Stargazing with Sean Kane. You know I'm represent artists, life story, which include joy and pain. You know, check out him YouTube channel fully. 
Stargazing with Sean Kane brings you up close and personal with your favorite stars of reggae and dancehall music and people that have impacted society in a very significant way. We invite you to subscribe to the Stargazing with Sean Kane YouTube channel, like and share our videos and leave a comment as we bring you fresh content every week. The Stargazing with Sean Kane show will inspire, educate and bring out the best in you. Stargazing with Sean Kane, up close and personal. Yes, give thanks people, you don't know, so this is the wordical poet himself, the lyrical poet, Yaman Wise Words, and you're tuning into Gazing with the Stars, Stargazing. Find out more about your local reggae artists, find out how they became artists, find out what makes them tick, find out how they was able to write these kind of hit songs, Stargazing, Gazing with the Stars with Sean Kane, straight from London, England. You get me, mate? Oh, bloody hell, did you get that? Gazing with the stars, wise words. Rock the world now, rock the world now, bro. Come and stargaze, teach you how to up Shanti, tell them. No weakness, no weakness, no weakness. Yo, Shanti, you don't know energy, up and press and close. Get there. Welcome back. You're tuned to the Stargazing with Sean Kane show. We're speaking with our special guest, Ras Ash the First. He's an artist, music producer, and Bedwardite. We've spent quite a bit of time talking about his music and also uh, hinting at the fact that we're going to be talking a little bit about the Bedwardite teaching. But it's quite ironic though that um, the war that's going on now in terms of the disagreements between communities, they're all being played out on the turf or the territory of Bedward, Alexander Bedward, that 20th century freedom fighter. I mean, how ironic is that? I mean, how do you feel about that when you look around to see, well, this is kind of one of the first free towns or communities following slavery, and this is what's happening to it? Okay. When them, when them fight Bedward, them fight righteousness, you know? And the system, no. Mm hmm Many times I ask myself the same question. Almost the peacefulest community become the most vital community. That, that's a reverse psychology. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And here all the psychology reversed now. Bedward teaching was about common people. The suffering. They, they, they have not. Uh, National nationalizing a people who, who 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 have not no status creating like Marcus Garvey, creating like Norman Manley, creating like Michael Manley, all these great minds. This is what the 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 the, 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 the elites were afraid of. Mm. So just to give us a better understanding of Bedward, what are some of the founding principles? of Bedward, Alexander Bedward. What were some of the things that he was putting forward okay. as the way that people should live? What Alexander Bedward was putting forward you know, was the new black man which you see today. A black man which could read, a black man which could write, a black man which own land, a black man which have businesses, a black man which have equal speak in recognition of the human entire race. A black man which could vote for his, his rights, speak for who he are as he feel he is. If there were to be a resurgence in the philosophies of Bedward among the nation, how do you think that might impact us as a people? Okay. Self-reliance, self-respect, regards for race, each and every man which is living, It have not a doctrine, but a way of life which can generate income without selling drugs, firing guns. It can re-civilize the mind of the youth, make them be much more self-rely, self-sustainable, respect the community, Respect your neighbor. 
respect the monuments around you, the churches, the water, the spring. So why is it then that Bedwardites are so quiet nowadays? Why don't we hear more noise being made by them? Whether in music, whether in, in preachings or teachings, or whether in uh, just a movement that they've got going that is really vibrant. It's loud. It's out there. And the youths can hear it. And they can meds some of those teachings and somehow assimilate those into their own ways of thinking and behaving. Why is it so quiet? Education. Education. According to all the people have been educated about Bedouin, how many people grow that hatred more and more? Mm. False education. I can right. see a place for that though. I, I must admit, I can see a place for it because the youths nowadays, they need grounding. There's nothing. Right, they need their root. They need the root. That is it because there's nothing to hold on to at the moment. Yeah, them, they're, they're just they're, they're just them, floating they're, like butterflies. Nothing they, they, to hold on to. They, they need their root because them only have branches and leaves hanging on for them. Yeah, a lot of them are a lot of them are weak. They break off easily, and they very leave easy. them they leave them injured in their very, very very easy. So the most I ever try to do is. Just continue to put fertilizer at the root of the youths and make it catch back. Mm. So, me, sister, the spirit of revolution in the people, it arise again. Well, I, I, I can't say, well, you know, I, um, I can see what you're saying. In the sense, I can see elements of it happening. I can't say so, but I know it's necessary because what we're seeing is just killing. So, if that's what the spirit of the revolution is, well, but in terms of people wising up and investing and building capital and building gener intergenerational wealth, if those things are happening, yes, I can say yes, I would agree with you. But at the moment, all I can see, the people that they make their money, but you see a big table of Hennessy and all kind of top-end drinks over there. $3 million spent in one night. Right, because, and then because, tomorrow, nobody, forget, nobody remembers about that because the drink is all out of your system. That's $3 million gone. Let's start, try again. I mean, where's the investment? That could have started something. That could be good seed money to start a farming business or anything, a little shop or right. something to turn over that money. That is it now, you know. And that is, you said it, you said it so, so simple, but it is so true. If the UM don't have the people around them to teach them how to invest, they never invest. They need some better diet around them. Yes, you notice, I had one interview, I know, and I had a business place with the same way. Appreciate that, man. Respect. Be proud of your thing, man. It, 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 at the end of the day, this is what I am. Yes, sir. This is what I am. And as you mentioned at the start as well, it's a bedwardite is about investment, it's about business. It right. is about entrepreneurship. And there right. you are, a testament to that. Right. The youths need to see this and realize that you make the money, but you must invest it because unless you let it you put it in a position where it can turn over, it's gonna disappear. It has to disappear because money make you poor. Remember that money make you poor. Assets make you stronger. Yes. Wealth, dealing with wealth, not riches. Right. Wealth, right. build your wealth, right. properties, assets, right. things that grow in value, appreciate. Right. Later on down the road, you can make your money back and make lots of profit on top if you decide to sell. Of course. So you say, more on you and invest. Invest in, in businesses. Mm hmm Invest in agriculture, invest in livestock, real estate, mm -hmm. real estates, housing, land. Yeah, invest because the money itself, it now has no value. Exactly. And unless you keep up. And it can't keep up. Well, you have to, in terms of, I mean, in terms of investing and you're earning more and more and right. more on top of that. Unless you do right. that, it's not going to be worth anything. You put it down under your mattress. And after a year, that $1 million probably, you know, I don't know why you can get you. Probably not even a car, right. a little banged out car. Because what? Inflation has eaten out the right. value of that money. 
don't do even the mattress with and I get there. Exactly so. So the money has to be working. Right, and you use a hundred thousand and buy a piece of land. Next year the land gone one fifty. Exactly. The other year two hundred. You put a building on it now, the land gone one three million dollar. You got one five million dollars. So eventually the value of the premises. Gonna appreciate it, it's gonna increase. Yeah. And that's you now building your wealth, getting stronger, more powerful, you know, your your right. power base. Right, because that is it, you know. For you get a start, that start, you're gonna expand it in our wealth now. But you know what, Russ? What I understand, I gathered a lot of these young people, they've had the start. They've got they've had the capital, they've got it. Don't ask me where they get it from, that's none of my business. My business, right. they've had the start. But then it's just any seat buys and champagne okay. and you know, you call it what you will. Something that right. after tomorrow when the merriment is over, you forget about all of that because the feeling is not in you anymore, but the money's right. gone. Then, then get the chance, you know. But the culture, the culture of today, the culture of today, you know, mm. is drink and drunk and smoke and flask and party. Yeah, you must, you must hype so people can see you and see what you've got. Right. That you've and, got money. Mm -hmm. And that culture now is, is like the culture of Jim Crow. A culture of it. Give you the left and take you back with the right. We as Bedwardites, we create business and own assets. Well, Ras, I tell you, it was really good spending some time, man. I'm telling you, really enlightening, talking about Bedwood, talking about your music, talking about the One Augustan project and how that's seeking to reunite these communities that are somehow not getting on so well. And we wish you all the best with that, man. But before I let you go, I always like to ask questions from this book. It's called Reggae Larger Than Life, the ultimate reggae music fun and games book. It's written by myself. It's available in Jamaica at Ashby's Pharmacy, 160 Old Hope Road in Kingston. Also, it's available at the bookshop at the University of the West Indies, Mona Campus. Also, it's available on Amazon. If you're more into apps, the Android version of the app is available from the Google Play Store. Just type in Reggae Larger Than Life, fun app, download that, and the fun will be all yours. So I've selected two questions for you. So you ready? So the man knows a lot about Bedwardite, you know, and the man knows a lot about the music and, you know, peace and unity and everything. So let's see. And I know you're a musician too. So let's see if we, you know, we can bowl you over. I know you're a powerful man, you know. So we'll, we'll try anyway. All right. So the first question here for you now says, which Jamaican brother told us that he saw Zion in a vision and said it was like a family reunion? The options for us are the late Bob Marley, the late Peter Tosh, the late Garnet Silk, and the late Dennis Brown. Late Garnet Silk. Late Garnet Silk. Man Silk is for our my parish. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. The man saw Zion in a vision, man. The man said, boy, it was like a family reunion. A nice vibe, nice everything, you know? That's good, man. <laughs> right, the second and final one for you now says, This Jamaican Rastafarian kindly brought us a whole lot of greetings from Ja in 1986. What was the name of this brother? They, we've got the options Lu Luciano, Everton Blender, Coco Tea, and Half Pint. Yeah, man, a half pint, man, but a full pint, they should have called him for that song, you know? <laughs> no, he never quite get up to that height, you know? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. He yeah, never man. quite get go up to more than, more than half of the pint, you know? Mm -hmm. three, three very great musicians from the island. Yes, man. Very, very, very good. But I tell you what, I've got another one as well. You know, I'm, I'm, I'll let's get a bonus one then and see how this one works with you. Which of the following crooners fronted the celebrated band Third World from 1976 up until his death in 2014? The options Bunny Ruggs, Bunny Goodison, Bunny Whaler, Burning Spear. Uncle Ruggs. Uncle Ruggs. Yes, man. Yeah. What a man sharp. He seemed like if I went through the whole book, boy, you'd, be, you'd give me a run for my money, man. Man, can I say that is that is made with diets, you know. Really? We have to know our history. Yes, yes. You can't ask me who sing Trilla. I must say Michael Jackson. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That the yeah, me have to me have to know you come a yard. Me have to represent yard. Yeah, man, and the music originating from yard. You have to know that. Yeah, yeah, and that is it. No, yes, it. Me not forget. Our people. Yes, the ones who make stunning contributions. 
Mm-hmm. Hold on to Bedward. I saw me hold on to every culture where my culture brings forth. Definitely, man. Well, I'll tell you what, the questions we're taking from this book is called Reggae Larger Than Life, the ultimate reggae music fund and games book, currently available on Amazon. Also available at the University of the West Indies Bookshop at the Mona Campus. Also, it's available at Ashby's Pharmacy, 160 Old Hope Road in Kingston. If you're more into apps, the Android version of the app is available from the Google Play Store. Just type in Reggae Larger Than Life fun app. You can download it, and that's yours, man. So, Ras Ash, the first. It was good talking to you, man. So, where is Ras Ash the second? Wow, I know I say at the works that a manifestation. Is it? At the works, a manifestation. Right. Because just like we have Alexander Bedouin. First. Rasash the first. Is his resurrector. So, the youth, the youth to come, him shall have a great name in the order as well, no? Right, I get it now, sir. I get it's all about in the order. Right, yeah, man. Right. Rasash, it was good, man. I tell you, the job you're doing there, man, is stunning, man. Spreading the message of um, Bedward, um, in terms of you say Bedwardite, you're putting that across, letting people like us know more about the man and what he stood for, his philosophies and teachings, who he influenced along the way, people that we also know that he's influenced, so we can realize that this man is coming from somewhere really far, somewhere very strong, a place of thoughtfulness and a place of conscience and i can see that that's kind of where you reside because you feel that you have a responsibility to help save your community it's fragmenting at the moment it's falling to pieces because of war things that probably don't need to happen so you are doing your project with the one august town project to get people to understand what's going on in the community as well as giving them ways in which they can live and also teaching, advising them, stay away from that. Embrace this so that we can have a better life. What can I say, man? Great work. Much thanks, man. Much thanks, man. Really thanks for you really opening up better than such platform because many people really scared. Even say bed what? Yeah, because time pass, but time change. I know it's the time of resurrection. So we need to go back to it now and save our people. Well, that's right. good. well, you know, as I said, Ras Ash, it was really, really, really good spending some time. And that's it for this edition of the show. Our guest was Ras Ash the first. He's an artist, music producer, and a Bedwardite. Now, please remember to subscribe to the Stargazing with Sean Kane YouTube channel. Like and share the videos and leave a comment. Until next time, this is Sean Kane saying thanks for joining. See you soon. Them turn it in a gun man too. Me no love to hear the gun them so. Which bad? Hey, up a August. Tell me again, what is name? Frankas, Mobile. Me no love to hear the gun them so. Oh God, I'm a bad boy. Kill Susan, and it never pretty. Rude boy, Sandra, black ash and spooky So me tell the youth I got stone for all the peace Nobody turn the triple six, nobody walk for the peace